Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm visited by Laura. Okay, welcome Sana. So, can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can ask me anything. You are ready? Ready. Okay. So, co-relationship, I'm a co-friendship. Says me co-relationship. Maybe uh, being afraid with a boy. Like, it's a red flag for you. Okay, to me, a biggest turn off, for example, just a boy who is a friend is uh, when maybe he expects you to call every time or expects that uh, frequent conversation and wherever he is, had you your schedule and then he gets mad, you know, that's what is a red flag for me. Okay, that's for a friend. Is the person you are dating? Um, a boyfriend. Okay, pressure. I can say pressure and mimi siyezani nayo. Pressure in maybe for example, and then you force kitu enye mimi. Maybe I'm not interested in. So for that, every two to we don't work under pressure. Baby girl who are big with kerere. Yeah, have five kushauti wa. Okay, kuna kuti na urizanga ni ni kama swari. Ah, so would you rather cry in a Range Rover or ride in a bicycle? Ni swari tu inahusia na mabona relationship na mabona happiness in life. So, where do you choose to fall in? Uh, I better laugh in a bicycle. But kuna hatu wanasema, uh, you better enjoy where it rusts. Yeah, I, you know, the, 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 what I can say, why I chose I better laugh in a bicycle because it gives me joy and peace. You know, that Range Rover, um, okay, in, ma, in, in as much as we say uh, it's a good thing, but you don't know what comes put of a good thing you know uh, they say um, not all that glitters is gold so i better choose peace and joy in that bicycle yeah then on top of that they say money is everything i kuna sasa zingine yes i nasemaga money is not everything then eh kuna kuumesota then that time una kubuka did i say that money is not everything so sana sana start off your pesa and relationship haijaeda pamoja kuna watu huko pia wanasema people who don't have money at their couples they are required to survive as i say when money comes in relationship it's sweeter so so far the age you are the experiences you have the relationship meko na watu the friendships so how can you define money when it comes to thing, th- things about money okay what i can say about money uh, let me say relationship is not built by money relationship is built by the heart for example i can have let me say i have nothing my friend has nothing but the heart that uh, relationship the communication that we have even though maybe let's say we are far or rather we meet every day relationship is not created by money because you find that w- when there is money unapata there is a good rapport we have but when there is no money you find there is like a distance now relationship is not built by money but it's built by what is inside the heart what that person means for example if i am your friend which place do i have in your heart what do i like what when, when i say laura is your friend how much does she mean to you when a woman and i get into power or money she is bound to kunini ku change so so she review for a better man when you cross yake so she will go to park with the driver not to park with for a bicycle with you other say when you empower a man man aki fika 40s man hiyo sada ana live life so man ako 40s adada atafute kasana campus ama atafute kasana kadavoka kaku kakuror nako so you see there are two things people fight that this jeda when it gets money in the kuchiza na power huko juu kuna wengine sana men wakipata do wanaenda hivyo so do you think it's true ju we don't know you may add up uh, uoe mtu hana do does it mean hauta mwe power kitu kingine does it mean you never run for power because you are a woman. So what's your take on those two cases? Okay, uh, first, you know, I'm a lady. And in a few years to come, I'll be a, a woman and I'm, 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 I'm really expecting to be a great woman indeed. So, you know, women, we are, okay, there's that saying that says when women get into power, of which some have experienced, when they get into power, they tend to overrule especially uh, when it comes to their husbands they rule everything but now what does the bible says when it comes to christianity i'm a christian so i'm a believer the bible says that 
men ought to love their wives and women ought to submit. Why did they say women to submit? Because they know when this creature gets money, gets power, <laughs> they will do wondrous things. And that's why God said women submit. Now, for a perfect woman, an excellent woman, even though she gets at the top, even though she has all that it takes, go and see there are great, great women out there having money. But those who believe in the word of God, they'll submit. And now come to this world now. We we'll call about now the the, the, the worldly people. Mm -hmm. Now that is where we find women. Yes, they have money. But are you in line with the word of God? The word says submit. So submission is where women have failed when it comes to money, success, and career life. Now, when, when we come to men, they say men ought to love their wife. And uh, me, I believe, I, I always say when it comes to relationship for a young person as we are, I don't think, if we are not dating for marriage, then there is no dating. And we say as Christians, as believers, we don't date. We, if it is for marriage, we, 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 we say uh, we do courtship. Is when a mature lady and a mature man come together and agree for marriage. Yeah, so now when we come to men, young men, they are dating. I also have friends of such kind. But now, do they know what they are doing? Do they see the consequences of these things? And that's why young men have failed in that part. So you find that men, the question you ask men, when they reach at 40s, you find they are going to look for uh, those students, yes, those young ladies. What I can say is a perfect man who will love. You know, maybe they loved their wives at the first, let me say, through first, yeah. Uh -huh, the physical appearance but a person who loves you with his heart who truly loves you, you know love is big it is wide but now for a man to love you even if you age you know the reason why men go out of their marriages <laughs> you know they are looking for this this young adolescent lady just because i can say you know a perfect okay no one is perfect but that there is that there is a perfect thing the special thing in you that brings the difference. Now, for that person, you have to love your wife the way she is. Atakama aki grow wrinkles in anini, the body na kuja unajua. Men they look at the physical appearance, and that's why they go for the young ladies because they are women. Tayari wakona watoto, big bust, big belly, tell me, you know. And then you see this is an old mama. They can't, and you find some men. In fact, they don't sleep the same bed with their wives and wow. then you and that is very bad in fact and uh that's why and that is the thing that many men have failed and i think it is time that men realize the value because these women they pass through a lot and now it is high time for just men to for those men who are nurtured you know in the word of god they ought to love their wives the way they are well, thank you so much it was a nice interview with laura taros yeah. thank you so much